So we have a huge announcement for you guys. We're Brad and Jazz, and this is our journey to financial independence. Over three years ago, we sold our first item on eBay, which started our obsession with reselling online. Join us as we share how we make an income reselling items we find at garage sales, thrift stores, and auctions. I need a change. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Towardsy Thrifters. We have a huge announcement for you guys, but before we actually get into that, we did want to say a massive thank you to everyone that uh, bought us a coffee the other week when we put that little link out in our description. So Jazz is going to read through and say thanks to those people that actually did <laughs> get into that. We were blown away and very surprised. So we need to say a really huge thank you to Jason, Antoinette and Shelly. Thank you, Cara. Thank you, Tom. Tom asked how we take our coffee. Uh, I'm a cappuccino man myself. I'm obsessed with my French press. <laughs> you will probably see it in vlogs. Thank you so much, kiddo, Thank and you. Frio Lou, and the sustainable approach, and Diary of a Flipper, who recommends a frothy instead of a coffee. I reckon he's uh, <laughs> trying to hint on, hint on some VBs there. So thanks very much, guys. We really do appreciate it. Um, the link will be in this description if you guys would like to donate to us. Obviously, we don't expect it, but we really do appreciate it. We appreciate it extra, even more than usual at the moment. Yeah, so we have some massive news for you guys. Um, so as of last Thursday, I handed in my resignation from my job. So I will be going full-time reselling with Jazzy, which we're really excited about. Yeah, buddy! Um, <laughs> it's something that we've been talking about for quite a while now. Um, we've been working towards it, stashing away the money trying to make sure we're set up in the best possible way to make this work. Obviously, we all know eBay is up and down, so we're trying to put a lot of things in place, like little side businesses, like the House of Cards, and a few other things that we're working on to make sure that we have enough money to survive going forward. We didn't really expect this to happen <laughs> right now, but it did feel inevitable. So I was not all that surprised when I got a text message, and it was Brad saying, uh, my hand is hovering over the send button on a resignation letter. Should I send it? <laughs> and I said, click it. Yeah, so we are very excited. Um, I think I was sort of struggling to keep up with both. My job is quite Definitely. demanding as a project manager and obviously I'm trying to provide really good quality videos or we're trying to provide really good quality video videos, as, videos. Well as, <laughs> as well as keeping our eBay store running. So I think it was time for us to take the chance. Obviously, we're going to have to scale back on our lifestyle a little bit for a little while until we get everything sorted. But the opportunities that we have and the opportunities that um, are ahead of us, we really think this is the right time to make this decision. And to take a chance on ourselves. Yeah, and I wanted to say a big thank you to all the people around us at the moment as well. People like Brad Diary Flipper, who's given us the confidence to go full time. Cara, obviously a great friend of ours. Um, also people like Chris Furlong, who's taken a chance on himself. And it just really shows to me that anything is possible if you put your mind to it. Obviously we've been sort of teetering on this for quite a while and we probably could have jumped earlier but now's the right time for us so we're gonna hit this pretty hard we have some big plans coming up so stay tuned for that we're gonna try and document a lot more of the journey especially that sort of first week or two of me going full-time but we're already starting to see some differences in our business so and our attitudes <laughs> yeah over the weekend we were um drafting listing we got it done super quick because there was two of us working through it it's quicker than double time having two people feels like having three people yeah so it's been a good little start so far obviously four weeks left of work so i'll be trying to wrap things up there so i might be a little bit quieter on social media for a little while until we get that sort of side of it sorted out and then bam he's gonna be 100 percent present and active in the community and connecting more and hopefully motivating yeah, I think that's one of my biggest struggles is being like, I can only really catch on for, up on videos on the way home from work. And 
there's only an hour, so there's so many channels <laughs> that I want to get around to and show support to. So I'm really looking forward to continuing to develop that um, relationship with all you guys out there. And for even those that aren't involved in the YouTube community, I really appreciate all the messages and stuff that we get now. 100%. Instagram inbox. So please reach out if we can help you guys with anything. We're really looking forward to the next, well, 12 months, really. Our lives. Yeah. Just <laughs> the rest see, of our lives. Just to see what can happen. And I really think that taking this step opens up so many doors. And we get to spend more time with the kitties. So. Yeah, exactly. We're not really sure what this is going to look like. So it's going to be really interesting to see if the nine to five kind of structure that we've had so far is still going to work for us. Maybe we'll become night owls. Yeah, I think the nine to five, like losing that couple of hours on the way on the bus is always a struggle for me. Um, but I sort of leave at like 6am, get home at like 5.30. In winter, I kick him out when it's dark <laughs> and he comes home when it's dark. Yeah. So I think this is going to remove a lot of friction for us. Yeah, and that's not complaining, that's just reality. And yeah. I did want to say thank you to my company for uh, giving me the opportunity to be where I am. Um, I'm grateful for everything they've done for me. 100%. Yeah, but um, I'm really looking forward to the future. So. Guys, uh, make sure you smash that thumbs up for us. We'd like to hit 300 thumbs up on this video. You guys absolutely smashed the last <laughs> goal of 150. I think we got like 270 on that one. So let's head for 300 in this one. And um, we really appreciate all your support and we can't wait to share more of the journey here at Two Aussie Thrifters. Yeah. Really excited for the future, guys. Um, and thanks for all your support. And uh, we will see you very soon on Two Aussie Thrifters. Bye for now.